start out slowly. Who has the clapper? <laughs> and get faster and faster. And one final. Mukashi, Mukashi. A long time ago, there lived a little boy. Now this little boy worked at a temple and he had to work all day long because he was studying to be a priest. But one day when he went into the forest, he met a little old woman and she said to him, Oh, so we need at last. Why, I'm your father's sister, husband's aunt's sister. <laughs> That's who I am. Oh, that sounds confusing, said the little boy. Ah, confusing or not, that means we're family. And you can come to my house later and I'll make you a big pot of steaming hot chestnuts. Oh, chestnuts, little boy said. I, I think I can go, but I, I have to ask the old priest first. And so he ran back to the temple and told the old priest what had happened. Kozo, little boy, said the old priest. That's not a kindly old woman. That must be a Yamamba, a mountain witch. She just wants to come into the woods so she can eat you up. Oh no, that's not true, the little boy said. Why, she knows my father and she's making me a big pot of steaming hot chestnuts. Oh, please, please, please let me go. Finally, the old priest agreed but only if you take with you these three magic charms. Use them if you get in any kind of trouble. Well, the little boy thanked the priest and went into the forest and sure enough, there was the old woman and she had made him a big pot of steaming hot chestnuts and he ate and he ate and he ate until he was very full and <gasps> sleepy. Oh, Kozo, are you tired? I'll make a bed for you in the next room and you can take a nap before you go home. And that's what the little boy did. But in the middle of the night, he woke up and he heard the rain on the roof and the rain seemed to be talking to him. Ten, teko abuneyo, ten, ten, ten. Ten, ten, danger's near, ten, ten, ten. <gasps> danger's near, the little boy sat up. I wonder where that little old woman is. And so very carefully, he got up and he sneaked over to the door and he peeked through a crack and oh my goodness, she had turned into a giant mountain witch with horns on her head and a mouth that stretched from ear to ear and she was at her spinning wheel saying, Kozo, oneta ka, nika, nika. Kozo, are you sleeping? <laughs> well, the little boy got up as quietly as he could and was about to sneak away when creak, the floorboards creaked and out came the Yamamba. Where do you think you're going? She said, oh, I just had to go to the bathroom. <laughs> you're not gonna get away from me and she tied a rope around his waist. Pull on this when you're done, she said. So the little boy went out to the outhouse. But as soon as he got there, he took one of his magic charms, placed it on the pillar and said, magic charm, magic charm, please pretend to be me so I can run away. And he ran away. Well, pretty soon the Yamamba got tired of waiting and started to pull on the rope. Aren't you done yet? Mada, mada, I'm not done yet. Came a voice that sounded just like the little boy, but it really was the magic charm. Aren't you done yet? Mada, mada, I'm not done yet. Aren't you done yet? Finally, <coughs> she pulled the pillar right out of the ground and don't hit her in the head. Ha! He's not going to get away from me, she said, and she started to run. Well, your mamba can run like a wind, and soon she caught up to the little boy. He grabbed his second magic charm. Magic charm, magic charm, please be uh, a river. Oh, there between them spread a big river. Ha! A little water's not going to stop me, said the Yamamba, and jumped, 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 jumped very quickly. She swam across. Oh, oh, magic charm, magic charm, please be uh, a mountain of sand. And there between them was a big mountain of sand. Ha! A little sand's not going to stop me, said the Yamamba, but every two steps she slid back one. And so the little boy had time to run to the temple. Ton, 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 he knocked on the door. Oh, show son, oh, priest, please open up the Yamamba. Didn't I tell you it was going to be a Yamamba? Mamba. No, no, there's no time for that. She's coming. Well, I have to put my underwear on first. Oh, no, no, please open up. Well, I have to put on my kimono. Finally, the old priest opened the door and hid the boy just in time because right behind him came the Yamamba. Osho, said the Yamamba. Don't try to hide that little boy on me. I saw him running in this direction. Little boy, said the Ososa. I don't know about little boys, but I do know about rice cakes. I have some on the fire. Ooh, rice cakes sound good. By now, the Yamamba was very hungry, and so she sat down next to the fireplace and started to eat the rice cakes. Mmm, these are delicious. Yamamba, said the Ososan. Is it true you Yamambas can transform into anything? Ah, you name it and I'll transform into it. I can't believe you can be anything bigger than you already are. Just watch this. And she took her long fingernail and she went... 
She turned into a monster with bulging eyes. Oh, that is impressive, said the priest. But I bet you can't be anything smaller than you already are. Ah, you name it and I'll transform into it. Oh, like a bean, for instance. Watch this. She took her long fingernail again, and this time she said, She turned into a bean, and just as quickly, the Osho-san grabbed chopsticks and taku, he ate her up. And that was the end of the Yama.